We are the, the Jacobson, Jacobson Project. Project. Hey everybody, uh, welcome back, Jacobson Project. Today is Saturday, I just came up with the, uh, the both the dogs, Lottie and Lloyd are here, and we're kind of getting things settled in. Kim's gonna come up after work today and we're gonna have a nice evening up here. There's not gonna be a lot of work done today. I'm going to tinker around with these cabinets just a little bit to see if I can get them reorganized so we can accommodate and have a under cabinet refrigerator. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm also working on the um, cement board hung on the wall. So I did take off that little uh, little heat shield that I had on there. Now it's sitting over here and might not ever go back on again. But anyway, I got these sheets hung temporarily. I need to get the right screws, uh, cement board screws. I just have some basic construction screws in there right now to hold them up. But I'm doing that, and then before Kim gets up here, I am going to get this cabinet moved over here and get this reworked. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to um, hang this end of the, or have a way to hold this end of the cabinet, or this countertop up. So when I take this cabinet out, it doesn't just, we still have to use this space right now. So I am going to figure something out to mount on these cabinets just to hold that end up temporarily. Um, so I'm getting some things done. I did get a little bit sidetracked. Lloyd, please. Jeez. Okay, you guys want to go outside? Stay close. Sorry about that. I just wanted to talk a little bit. I got... I got a little bit uh, preoccupied this afternoon. I did go see the na uh, neighbor and he showed me some stuff with his uh, maple syrup tapping. And maybe we'll show some of that off at, at some point eventually. I don't know a lot about maple syrup tapping. It's pretty straightforward. It's, it's the cooking process that I really, I really don't know a lot about. Anyway, future episode maybe. So I did that and then I came back and I've been looking at this trailer and the height of the loft is always a big concern with me, the, the amount of space up above. So I I know I, I had an idea that the height restrictions for basic towing of a trailer, the height restrictions of the trailer are uh, 13.6. I didn't know that for sure. I was hearing numbers like 13.6, 13 feet, 14 feet. So I called an old friend. First of all, he gave me some great insight because he works... And he, he does a lot of, I think he's a, he drives a big rig and, and tows. So I called him, I sent him a message, and he responded immediately, and he ended up calling me. And uh, this is somebody that I haven't really interacted with in probably 20 years, 25 years maybe. Um, but it was really good to catch up and hear how he's doing. And, and uh, you know, those people that, that you... Uh, you grow up with that kind of uh, they go you go separate paths um, I always kind of looked up to him because he was a year older and and he was you know one of those guys that did did things his own way and uh, I always kind of admired him for that so I just want to thank you personally I'm not going to name your name but thanks for the input and it was good to talk to you I mean truly it was good to talk to him glad you're doing well um, anytime anybody gets the opportunity to catch up with an old friend or somebody that they went to high school with, it's a good thing, you know, stay in touch, especially during these stupid times. So, um, anyway, thank you. Back to the project and what I, what I talked to him about was the restrictions and, and what I should do if I should stick to under a certain height and, uh, Basically, he told me that if if this if this trailer is not going to move, you know, I have I have some wiggle room as far as you know I can go higher. If I don't have to worry about pulling it down the road, then big deal if you go over those height restrictions. Now, if I were to ever sell this trailer again, then it would come into um, one of those things where somebody might not want to buy it if it's over those restrictions. You know, if it's oh if it's built too high, so. 
some things I'm going to have to kick around. Uh, the way this trailer, this box trailer is built, you know, the, the bottom, the floor level is higher. It's above the above the tires. It's not down close to the axles. So your your interior height restrictions are limited because of that. Once we cut the top off and I sand on this loft, then I got to see if it's workable. If it's something that I'm, it's, you know, we're going to end up having a crawl in loft anyway. So is an extra six inches going to really help or is that not a big deal and and if we get a you know if we're just having a mattress up there not a box string a full bed doesn't matter you know you're crawling into bed anyway lots to consider so this is what I'm working on right now cement board and cabinets back to that I'll show I'll give you guys an update as that is reworked okay got this kitchen reworked Lottie is heating, and Lloyd is outside. So I got these cabinets moved around. I put the smaller one up against the bathroom wall, and I recut a, cut, a piece of cardboard template. And I got this this drawer with all the uh, this cabinet with all the drawers moved over here, and now we have an opening. Right now, as our dog feeding station, but that's where the um, that's where the ref under counter refrigerator is going to go, and we'll have a little extra room on there too. So this is looking pretty good. Got that cement on the wall, and the switch box put back in, and then I have this set up right now. This. Uh, cardboard template so Kim can see it when she gets here. She should be here any minute. And then we're going to hang out, cook some dinner, and stay overnight. Let's see if Kim makes it in the driveway. She's got all-wheel drive, so she should have no problem. That's the sketchy part right there. She was nervous. stuff over here. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah, what do you think? Wow. It's freaking coming together. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, you haven't seen it for no. a while. Good morning. We stayed over. Kim is working on her crossword puzzle. Almost done. One word left. Does anybody know? What is it? Eight quarts. Eight quarts? Yeah. It's a peck. But there's, you know, a bushel and a peck. Oh, yeah. I think that's it. All done. Sunday morning crossword. All right, another fun weekend up north. Got a little bit done on the kitchen. Um, ironed out some things for cooking, temporary cooking solutions. I got the, the little camp stove hooked up to a tank, which I have underneath there, which I can turn on and off. And uh, that seems to be working a lot better than these, these little tanks that seem to run out pretty quick. So we have a a more uh, better solution for cooking and we got the countertops more worked out and now we're gonna cook and go for a walk and probably head head home after a little bit
some better pans here. So doing dishes up here has become, well, it's a lot easier now with the sink. We still don't have running water, but the process is, is fairly simple. And all you do is you heat up a little water on the wood stove and then, or on the, the cooktop. This morning I just heated up on the wood, wood stove. You have a pot on the wood stove and it just kind of maintains the hot water. And then you just come over. I'll give you a little show here. And you have your warmed up water. Wash off your utensils and dishes. And everything is just draining down into the bucket. And then we have our little uh, drinking water and clean water, fresh water. You just rinse it off. You can get some better towels up here. All set. It's done. Weekend's over. Back to work tomorrow. Stop. God. Weekend's over. Had a, just took a few days to get our blood pressure lowered. Well, I actually I haven't even been here a day. See you next week. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Thanks for watching. See you next week. <laughs> always a process shutting this place down and it's always sad to leave okay stay back up